Hello everybody, welcome to the video tutorial on programming grids and today I will show you about the implementation of vector using C++. I think vector is very very important for competent programming. Basically vector works like a Zare, that's why vector is important. At the time of programming contest, you know sometimes we need the maximum or minimum value from an array, shorted array in ascending or descending order, summation of all elements in the array, we can easily find this using vector. So now open your code blocks and create a new file test vector dot cpp and for working with vector you must need the header file hash include vector so I want to include hash include bits std c++ Dot H. I hope you know about this header file. If we uh, if we add this header file, then we need not include any other header file. Uh, so this is also important for competing programming. Now using namespace std sorry and my So at first uh, you need to declare a vector, for declaring vector, first uh, you need to write the vector keyword vector and the data type and the vector variable name and I want to use integer variable if, uh, if you want to use spot, double or characteristic, use that. This data type is the data type which data you want to add in the vector. So first uh, you need to add some integer variable. So for adding value in the vector, you need to write v dot push back. So at first we want to add 30 in our vector so add more value 30 40 50 and here is 100 and here is 45 so first uh, we want to know about the size of this vector so the size v dot and print this so now we we'll run this program so this is 5 because our vector size is uh, 5 so now we want to short our vector so for shorting you need to write short 3 dot begin to impede it in. we want to short our vector from first position to last position so now printing this Okay, now run this program. So our vector size is 5 and the vector shorted uh, in ascending order is this. So if we want to uh, the shorted uh, uh, vector or uh, in descending order, then you can write reverse beta to begin to beta to end because uh, we want to reverse this from starting point to ending point okay so now run this program so our shorted array in descending order is in this okay so now we want to know the so now we want to know the maximum and minimum um, value in our vector so declare into the variable user max value equal to point from max element when to find the maximum uh, element from begin to end begin to 
end and print max value is max value and so now run this program so first our vector size is 5 and the maximum value is 100 and we are in descending order is this so now we want to know minimum value in our vector minimum value equal to main element we want to know the minimum element from a starting point to ending point and copy this line and the main value is main value and the variable name is main value okay so now we can run this program so our vector size is 5 maximum value is 100 minimum value is 30 and this is our descending water shorted vector okay so now we want to know the summation of all the elements in this vector so for summation of all the elements in this vector you need to declare another variable sum equal to accumulate be dot we want to the sum summation from beginning point to ending point end and the starting point sum is zero okay so now print this sum is sum okay so now run this program okay at first uh, now our vector size is 5 and the maximum value is 100 minimum value is 30 sum of this uh, vector is 265 and shorted in descending order is this so now we want to add a value in this second position and position of our vector so for adding a value in any position of the vector you need to write b dot insert b dot begin plus one because uh, because we want to add at the second position uh, we know that the first position is zero because uh, vector works like as array and the array index start from zero so the vector index also zero we want to add the second position and the value is uh, 500 we want to uh, add the value is 500 so now run this program so in our vector at the second position is 500 because uh, we insert uh, 500 at the second position now if you want to delete a value from last position so now write so for deleting uh, a value from last position you need to write v dot or back okay so now run this program so so our uh, last value um, of our vector is 30 because uh, uh, the descending order shorted and the final value is 30 and the value is deleted so we can easily delete any value from the last position if we want to delete uh, a value from any other position then write v dot erase. Uh, if we want to delete the third position, then v dot begin plus two. So now run this program. Okay. So our third position value is deleted because our this is descending order shorted area vector 
okay so you can run this program so this is uh, our uh, vector and the vector is 100 and this and we delete the value at the various that means third position and the third position is 50 so 50 is out it is deleted so we can easily delete a value from if you want to declare the you know, vector with your size and then declare and if you want to declare a vector with initialize a value then 10 the vector size is 10 and the value is minus 1 or you can use 2 3 4 5 6 as uh, something like that okay so minus one. so by default the initialize value is zero so for using in the competitive program you can declare a vector through p and we also declare integer variable a and integer n and first uh, we want to declare the size I mean uh, how many numbers I want to add in this vector so c in n so for plus plus and c in a and now b dot run this you can run this program and it will into 5 variables 2, 7, 12, 10 and 8 ok the maximum value is 12 and the minimum value is true summation of the um, vector is 39 descending order uh, and we uh, before we add if insert a value in our second position and the value is 500 ok and then um, delete a value from our third position and the value third position value is 10 is also deleted so if you want to if you finally if, uh, one to delete all the uh, value from your vector mm, then write v dot clear okay now your vector is empty so this is the some basic operation of vector and i hope uh, this is very helpful for you Oh, in the competitive programming and I hope that you enjoyed this video please like this video and share with your friends and finally subscribe this channel for more videos thank you